uh, for the next few minutes, really, I just want to exalt us, hallelujah, to exalt us, praise God, hallelujah, amen. In what I have called, you know, father, like father, praise God, father, like who? Like father, praise God, amen. And what do I mean by that? You know, the human father, like the heavenly what? Like the heavenly father, praise God. Like the heavenly, the heavenly father, praise God. Hallelujah. Like the heavenly father, praise God. In the most basics of meaning, hallelujah. Praise God in the most basics of meaning, praise God. Hallelujah. A father is a male parent, praise God. A father is a male parent, praise God. Amen. A father is a male parent, you know, amen, and to be a parent, that means that a child has been what? Has been brought forth, praise God. That is the most basics of, uh, of meaning, hallelujah. But we also know, praise God, by reason of scripture, hallelujah, amen. Now, you know, uh, 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 it's possible that you don't believe in this Christian God. Hallelujah. But just give me an ear. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, you know, uh, 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 and to break it really down, I want to sort of talk about, you know, uh, five domains of fatherly empowerment. Praise God. Amen. And what do I mean? You know, what, where am I taking us? Praise God. To realize that one cannot be a father unless the father, meaning God, has empowered you and I to be a what? To be a father. Praise God. To be a father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Unless God has empowered you and I to be a what? To be a father. Praise God. We see the story of... Um, of Isaac in Genesis, in the book of Genesis, um, um, Genesis 20, 25. In the book of Genesis uh, chapter 25 um, and verse 22. Oh, we'll take it from a much earlier verse, from verse 20. Amen. From verse 20. Amen. Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah as wife. Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his plea. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Praise God. Without God empowering us, praise God, as men, I mean men, praise God, we cannot be what? We cannot be fathers. Praise God. It's possible, you know, fathers, there's fathers out there that are not Christians. Amen. They don't know God. You don't believe in God. Praise God. But I want to, you know, to, to, uh, to open your eyes to realize that God has been so good to you. God has been so gracious to you that he gave you the power to be a father. Praise God. He gave you the power to have children. Praise God. To have children. Hallelujah. Praise God. God gave the power hallelujah even in the case of um in the case of abraham praise god in the case of abraham in the book of genesis chapter 15 praise god abraham cried out to god and said that you know what have you given me seeing that i have no what i have no ch no child and the one that would be heir in my place would be my servant praise god Amen. And God said to him, no, 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 no. That's not the case. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Genesis 15 verse number two, you know, but Abraham said, Lord, what will you give me seeing I go childless and the heir of my house is Eliezer of what? Of Damascus, you know, then Abraham, then Abraham said, look, you have given me no offspring indeed. One born in my house is my heir. 
But listen to what God tells him in verse number 4. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him saying, This one shall not be your what? Your heir. But one who will come from your own what? From your body shall be your heir. Shall be your heir. Praise God. Amen. At this time around, Abraham, praise God, hallelujah, was well, well, was well over 75 years. Praise God. Was well over 75 years. Praise God. Having walked with God for a few years from age 75 when God called him. Praise God. Hallelujah. He, has a re he had a real cause to worry. Praise God. He had a real cause to worry. Praise God. Amen. Now, for the fathers out there, that are, for the men out there that are crying to God, that will I ever have my own children? Praise God. Will I ever become a father? Praise God. Don't lose hope. In this month, we are talking about, you know, the exceptional, the exceptional power of the grace of God that makes, that, that does things for us that we cannot do for ourselves praise god hallelujah praise god whilst abraham was busy worrying about about who would be his heir hallelujah god had already made grace available for him god already had a plan that he will do what he will have his own what his own child his own child praise god not adopted child, praise God, not his brother's child, but his own child, praise God, hallelujah. Imagine how much more that the Lord has prepared for you, that God Almighty has planned for you, all the good that you don't know about, hallelujah, praise God. When I concluded last week, I said to you, don't you worry, hallelujah, God has got you what? God has got you covered, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I did promise that I will carry on in the same line. Hallelujah. But today was, uh, what today, uh, as of today, was a necessary interruption. Praise God. I will carry on from last week, next week. Praise God. Hallelujah. But today is a necessary interruption. Praise God. Because if there's a time that we got to honor God, Hallelujah. Why don't you just stand up and just honor him a little more? Honor him as a father of father. Mom, so me case and Narabaraba. The father that makes fathers fathers. Re Sandarabo so me kesanda. Re Kasandarabo Shika Botombo so tieke. Re Kasandiabo Shikarabatamba. Me send it in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. I thought I would, I would get that out of the way. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 and verse 28. Praise God. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 and verse 28. Amen. The Bible say, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female he created them then god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and subdue it have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air over every living thing that moves on the earth hallelujah somebody say to yourself i have been empowered I have been empowered. I have been empowered. Hallelujah. I have been empowered. Praise God. I have been empowered. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you have been empowered, what are you doing sitting down? Hallelujah. Praise God. What are you doing sitting down? Praise God. Get up, get up and do great and mighty things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Get up and do what? Great and mighty, mighty, mighty things because you have been empowered. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
amen, there is an empowerment that does not translate into a change. Praise God. Because the one that has empowered you does not have the power to make the change happen. Praise God. Amen. But you have been empowered by God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Praise God. And everything therein, God does not only have the authority, he also have the power to make things what? To make things happen. Praise God. Hallelujah. To make things happen. Five are domains of a fatherly empowerment. Praise God. Domain number one, the power to nurture. Praise God. The power to nurture. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. There's a lot of children, a lot of children, praise God, out there. Amen. That, yes, you know, they, uh, 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 they were born, praise God, out of a union of a man and a woman, praise God. But what they missed out on was being nurtured, hallelujah, was being nurtured, hallelujah, praise God. Amen. But it's been in God's plan, hallelujah, that the children uh, he has given us that are what? Are nurtured. And God has given us the grace. God has empowered us to nurture these children. Praise God. To nurture them. Hallelujah. To nurture them. To bring them up. Amen. To bring them up in the way of the Lord. To teach them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, there are a lot of people out there, amen, that may not be, that are not biological fathers, but they are doing a fatherly role in the way of guardianship. Praise God in the way of guardianship. Oh, Marabo Sotiaba. I want to pray for every uncle out there. I want to pray for every aunties out there. Everyone that has taken the time to nurture a child out there, and even to every parent out there. The parents that have done the parental responsibility of nurturing the children to make sure that the children are developed in character. They have, they've got every opportunity that they need to be the best they can ever be. Hallelujah. To be the best they can what? They can ever be. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. To be the best they can ever be. Hallelujah. The power. Of nurturing praise God the power of nurturing hallelujah praise God we are reminded of the cry um, uh, uh, of um, the man Jabez praise God amen it looks like he didn't have all that great parenthood praise God and he cried out to God that the Lord will change everything is ever known and everything it I have ever become hallelujah praise the Lord amen you know, I did say it's an exaltation. Praise God. Number two, quickly, the power of influence. Praise God. The power of influence. Praise God. The power of influence. Hallelujah. Amen. We know for sure that influence is not just in, in words that we say. Praise God. In the words that we say, but in the role model that we are to people. Praise God in the role model that we are, that we are to people. Praise God. Amen. You know, read with me 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse number 12. 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse number 12. Praise God. Very quickly, that talks about, there we are, we got Elisha saw it and he cried out, he cried out concerning Elijah when Elijah got uh, lifted up and taken to the heavens. Praise God. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. So he saw him no, he, he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two uh, into two pieces. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We know for sure that Elijah was not Elisha's biological what? Biological father. Praise God. Amen. But he and he and he and uh, um, you know he and the respect of a father from Elisha by what? By influence. Praise God. By influence. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We are not opportune to know exactly how long Elisha walked or, or served Elijah. Praise God. Amen. But this is where the influence, praise God, in chapter 3 of 2 Kings and, uh, and, and verse number 11, praise God, when they were referring, when they re were referring to Elisha, they associated him to Elijah. Praise God. They associated with him uh, uh, to Elijah. But Jehoshaphat said, is there no prophet uh, 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 of the Lord here? You know, that we may inquire of him. So one of his servants, the servants of the king of Israel answered and said, Elisha, the son of Jehoshaphat, is here who poured water in the hands of who? Who poured water in the hands of Elijah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Who poured water in the hands of Elijah? Praise God. His point of influence was what? His point of influence and point of reference was Elijah. Praise God. Man, 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 man. And right now I'm not talking to just men. Praise God. I'm talking to everyone that cares to hear. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, the empowerment to influence, praise God, God has released the grace. Praise God that you will go and be an influence. Praise God. That you will go and be what? Be an influence. Make the, make the influence. Be a role model. Praise God. Amen. Be a role model. Praise God. A change that transcends the words that we speak. Praise God. Amen. If you saw Elijah, you knew he was with who? With Elijah. Praise God. You knew he was with what? With Elijah. Obviously, the responsibility here is on you, praise God, as an influencer, as a role model, as a mentor. Praise God, as a mentor. Hallelujah. And let me speak to us, we children. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Learn to honor the man that God has placed in front of you, your father. Praise God. Otherwise, the grace that you don't honor cannot benefit you. Praise God. The grace that you don't honor cannot what? Cannot benefit you. Praise God. Elisha will not be the Elisha that we speak about now if he had not poured water in the hands of who? Of Elijah. Praise God. Honor. Hallelujah. Praise God. Scripture says that let no man outdo you in honor when it comes to honor. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because it will not benefit you. You could work with great men and women out there. And you will become nothing like them if you don't do what? If you don't honor them. Praise God. They might even be horrible. But you know what God has what? Has decreed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The power of command. Number three. Amen. Five domains of what? Of fatherly what? Fatherly influence. Praise God. The power of what? The power of command. Ah, have you ever gone somewhere? Everyone is talking and they're listening to them. And you speak and they say, shut up. Yeah? Or you speak and it's as though you did not say anything. Praise God. The power of what? The power of command. Do you know that some people command even without command? As in, they command even without saying anything. Praise God. As soon as they enter, everyone stands up. Praise God. The meeting cannot close until they've said something. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has created you and I. Praise God. To be kings and queens in our domains. Hallelujah. People with a voice. Praise God. People with a what? With a voice. Amen. Second Kings chapter 13 and verse number 14. Amen. Second Kings 13 and verse number 14. Praise God. Second Kings 13 verse 14. Amen. And Elisha said. No, that's not. Uh -huh. Here we are. Elisha had become sick. With the illness of which he would die. Then Joash 
the king of Israel came down to him and wept over his face and said, Oh, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and their horsemen. Praise God. Firstly, let me say, when you honor, you are honored. Amen? Can we see that the same honor he attributed to Elijah is the same honor this time around a whole king of Israel was giving to him and calling him who? My father, my what? My father. The chariot of what? Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord will elevate you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will give you a command. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that your departure will be missed by the believers and the non-believers. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that your departure will even be missed by governments. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. This king was not particularly a believing king. No, you read the beginning of the chapter, say he was an evil king who did evil, but honored what? The grace. Praise God. Honor the grace in Elisha. My father, my father. God will give you a command. If you read downwards, praise God. Elisha said to him, now listen to me. Pick up a bow. Amen. Go into the west east window and shoot out an arrow. Pick up a bow again. Go into the other window. Shoot up an arrow. Praise God. Amen. And it says, as you have shot an arrow, that's how you will overcome the, the, the invasion. Praise God. And it said, come here again. Take up all your bow, your arrows. Praise God. Hit them on the ground. Praise God. You will have a command. You will speak and listen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray the Lord gives a voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Because you cannot be a king. Come on now. Praise God. You cannot. Is this what God has created you for? Yes. Praise God. Say, you shall have dominion over the air, over the land, over the what? The seas. Praise God. The Lord empowers you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, where you walked away in shame, you will, they will walk finding you in grace. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Number four, quickly. The power to be an author. The power to be a founder. The power to be an author. The power to be what? A founder. Praise God. Take a look at this verse, you know, uh, from the New Living Translation, if you can find it. Romans chapter four and verse number one. Romans chapter four and verse number one. Amen. Praise God. An author. A founder, praise God. I remember two or three years ago and I was praying that God release a grace over this church and over these people. That from this place in this city of Cambridge, in this city of the great Lanet, praise God, that God will release an idea in this place that will, that, that will amaze the whole world in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. New Living Translation. Amen. I'll read it for you, uh, for you from New Living Translation. Um, NLT. Hallelujah. Romans 4 verse 1. I'm sure there's somebody at home who is shouting it out to me in New Living Translation. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you for doing that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Abraham was, humanly speaking, the founder of our Jewish what? Nation. Is that not big? The man, Abraham, to be the founder of the what? Of the Jewish nation nation hallelujah amen the founder of the Jewish nation according to the what according to the flesh praise god now it would be meaningless 
Praise God. Hallelujah. If Abraham was only a human figure and not a spiritual what? And not a spiritual figure. Praise God. It would have been what? It would have been meaningless. Praise God. But we know of a truth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where was Abraham before Genesis 12? Praise God. Grace was busy carrying him. Hallelujah. Grace was busy what? Him. Praise God. Grace. Hallelujah. Is this really the founder? My God, my God. God will make you an author, a founder, an interpreter. You will do something that no man has ever done. In the name of the Lord Jesus. How I pray that you take this in your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You don't have to do the way it has, it has always been done. Hallelujah. Praise God. You don't have to. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was reading about a, a lady from Taiwan. Praise God. Amen. Who her first, her first investment was in, uh, in uh, building um, laptops. Praise God. Then she decided that I'm going to leave laptop because maybe, you know, mobile phones is a more lucrative business. And she invented the HTC mobile phone. A Christian woman. Hallelujah. A Christian what? Man. She invented the what? The HTC mobile phone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, what's HTC? is not iPhone. It's not Samsung. Praise God. But it's selling. It's expensive. It's a, it's a good phone. Praise God. It's not one of the phones that have disappeared in history. Hallelujah. And she is a strong believer. A Christian. Praise God. Who say that Christian cannot what? Cannot occupy the place of dominion and excellence. Hallelujah. Who said? Praise God. Amen. Let them not dare you the wrong way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lastly, amen. In the same Romans, Romans chapter 4 and verse number 11. Praise God. Romans chapter 4 and verse number 11. Praise God. We'll finish with this. Hallelujah. I know time is fast spent. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had, which he had while still uncircum what? Uncircumcised. Even before circumcision, Abraham had what? Had faith. Praise God. That he might be the what? The father of all those who do what? The father of all those who believe. Hallelujah. The father of all those believe, who believe. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And what I'm saying to you is that you have been empowered. The power to fast. The power to be the leader. Praise God. The power to be the what? To be the fast. The power to be the what? To be the leader. Praise God. I'm sure that there are so many Hebrew people that could have easily be thrown into the furnace, fiery furnace. Praise God. But only the special, the special three, praise God, took the lead, hallelujah, to stand out for God. Praise God. The world, particularly the youth of our generation, are looking out for authentic leadership. Praise God. They're looking out for people that will say, you know, I will step in fast. You come and follow me. Praise God. And they are not saying, do as I say, you know, do as I say, but don't do as I what? As, as I do, God has empowered you, the power to lead, the power to take the first what? The first step. Hallelujah. Why don't you stand up? Why don't you stand up? Praise uh, We're going to worship uh, 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 God in, in song. Praise the Lord. And then we'll see that video clip from the children. Hallelujah. And we'll bring to this We'll bring this to a close. But in the meantime, why don't you just pray away, pray away, pray away. Begin, begin to raise your spirit up. And begin to raise your hope. Begin to raise your confidence in God. Begin to change your position in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. How I wish that somebody would say, Daddy, I, have, I am better than this. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am better. I am better than this. Re masandiebo koso mireke. Re sandarabosikara.